video lecture uh, i gave you an overview over lexical editor project uh, which lexical editor project also and all of its features and we also set up a basic project too so we can see a kickstart our development process in this video lecture we will dive in deeper into our uh, css uh, like by using material ua library so you can know how we can um, how we can build some basically out of lexical data by using material UI. Um, now, first of all, uh, make sure your current progress is currently matched with my progress. And uh, in the last, I also created a, a video one um, branch and I also pushed it on my GitHub repository. And I also attached the link so you can check it out. Uh, by uh, After it, you can uh, switch into another repository. I am creating another repository, click checkup video to so after this uh, you can uh, so for for this you can create new theme folder here theme index.jsx and then afterward you can visit the uh, visit to my github repository and copy the basic theme from there okay you can okay after copy pasting this you don't uh, here you need to import it uh, sorry here you need to use it uh, theme provider and after it editor app theme sorry this is not a jsx file it is a js file and make sure you also add this css baseline after it you need to make add grid maximum size it will be 9 i think it will be good size after and this make sure you the direction of flex it will be column and then typography variant logic edit let me check here we can build a simple one uh, i need to set some min height under vh and then justify content center line item center okay sorry uh okay and then margin top five so after doing this now we need to add some css in input box of the lexical editor uh, so here we need to overlap we need to move this enter some text on uh, inside this input box for this uh, we need to add some css uh, but uh, in latest material ui v5 version we cannot add directly a mix style just like in material ui4 we can directly add make style uh, make style hook but for this you need to add some styles styles dot js import style from material ui and then you can go to lexical editor add source components you can just copy paste this one because it is a simple css style and uh, 
content in it it is a component uh, which we are importing from lexical react and we are making us um, we are making another uh, component like um, by changing some uh, css of content editable and then after doing this i just import the new content editable just replace this with new content editable and then replace here with placeholder sx why mm. it is not importing sorry this is a simple as x y this caused some problem uh, but uh, now I find the solution where is the problem so actually I forgot to add some the overall container here you can add overall container box here you paste it here add some style here like uh, so first of all add some position relative and then okay you can see here and then you can also add some background background white okay this one is also done now go to app JSS file here you can now you can see all basic lexical editor app is done you can also highlight no I think highlight is present is not working but everything is fine uh, after it you need to add some toolbar now uh, and also you need to decrease some font size of this typography for this you can change the variant of 2h3 to h4 i think it looks good add some margin top property 5 uh, yes it also look fine and then on the top of the editor so you can format the text and add, add insert some links and also do many things uh, with the editor for this uh, now we can move to our data uh, code base here you can add new component toolbar toolbar and then you can import here toolbar you can also insert some margin top here okay after doing this you can go to here and then add grid property you can see that uh, here we now add to some icons for uh, make sure you can also um, add some new library in your uh, code base uh, the name of the library is mdi material ui uh, it will help you to import those icons which are not present in the uh, native material ui uh, you can also check here mdi material ui this one is a, uh, this is the library uh, you need to import after it you can also search you can go to here the original website of MDM material UI and you can search any icon if you which you want to import 
so after doing this uh, then you need to need create new file toolbar icons list jsx and then you can go to here and then copy all of the file actually here you only are mm, here you only creating a list so you don't need to do anything so uh, i think causing a problem import uh, about this event types uh, actually uh, when some icon will be pressed so we need to um, push some event so we can add if else condition and then according to that event we can uh, dispatch some com uh, command to lexical editor that do some stuff like if someone press on bold button uh, bold icon sorry then this bold event will be um, then bold event will be introduced here this one bold icon and then bold event will produce so after doing this you need to import this in here plugins list dot map now we see check but with okay good now we need to spread justify content space between okay i think it is fine and i need we need to add some padding py1 px1 okay i think it looks good and then after it now it uh, icon on click is not working because we have not attached any on click with the icon uh, listed with icons for this you can go to code base and add new hooks like we can add use on click use on click okay this is a fine name use on click or we can check here what we what name i used previously use on click listener sorry rename listener you can add on click Okay, now we can see what will happen. One click is not a function. Oh, sorry. Okay, it is working. Even is format code, format undo, bold, format tally, insert image, insert link, and everything is working fine. Uh, so i think it is enough for this uh, video lecture uh, in the next lecture uh, we will build some functionality like format undo format redo bold italic underline or maybe some insert link also bye